Well, hello, and uh, welcome back to our playthrough here of Rome Total War. Uh, last time out, we uh, we fought a victory on the beaches. Uh, it was very close. Uh, we lost a lot of men, but we also routed an entire full stack army. Hopefully, that will be the last full stacked army this guy has for a while because they just keep spawning out of nowhere and we're about to take this town here so we're going to do that this turn uh, but before we do that let's just uh, have a ganders around see how everybody's doing so the brutii well they have all of Greece now this place Crete no this one's not Crete this one's Crete which one's Crete can't remember I think it's this one Anyway, one of these, um, if you have them, they do actually have the best archers in the game, Cretan archers, and they are very good, a lot better than the the rubbish that we have here. But you know, we're getting, we're finally going to get some archers, and we're definitely going to ship them over as soon as we can. But for now, let's begin the battle. So let's go ahead and attack them, and this should be a very fast battle. I don't think he's going to have many soldiers. Because <clears throat> last time he actually joined the battle and well, he didn't die. But he lost a few men. So this will be fairly simple. And we're probably going to sacrifice a few Hastati to take him out. In fact, I don't even know if I want to do this myself. I might just automatically resolve it. Yeah. There's no point in me fighting that. There we go. 24 start to die there. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that was uh, there's no, that was pointless me fighting that battle. But there we go. Enemy general dead. Uh, oof, how big is it? Ah, damn it, I forgot to check. Judging by the amount of money that we're going to get, I would say that there is a lot, a very big population. Now, I could enslave the population and get my other towns to grow, which would be good, or I could get money. And money's always good, so I'm going to do that. There we go, lovely chubby. And let's go ahead and build this mine, because look at that, 350, I believe, this is per turn, which would just be beautiful. I suppose we could have a look at uh, the finances here. Um, yeah, there we go. Mining, 500. So yeah, we're getting money from this. Oh, it's beautiful. So we definitely want to improve that. Um, so let's go ahead and build that. That is definitely what I want. <laughs> Most certainly what I want. Um, and then, yeah, we get some tra get training some soldiers. And let's... Uh, Let's distribute what we have left. Now these cavalry are getting pretty experienced now. It's going to cost a fortune to retrain them. So I'm going to leave it like that for now. Alright, so yeah, we, we killed them. Uh, let's see if there's anything else to do. Whilst we wait. Massilla's training. Uh, it's a guest uh, can you build anything? Let's build something here. But what? What should we build? Uh, roads? Yeah, let's go for roads. And then this is where I find out I need to build something else somewhere else. <laughs> no, I think we're definitely good. Oh, that public order's going down. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, no, I think we're good. All right, let's go ahead and end the turn then. Hmm, so yeah, uh, the battle previously allowed me to do that. Huh. Okay. Well, this is this is funny. <laughs> this is very funny. It appears the Spanish want to declare war on us, and they are saying if you don't pay us. 50 denarii per turn for three turns, they're going to attack us. 
no, of course, we are not going to do this. We're just, we're just going to outright deny them that and allow them to take to declare war on us. Because that's what they'll do. Aquincum, where's this? I don't want to go to war. No, I'm not going to war with the Dacians. Not right now. <laughs> no, we're about to go to war with the Spanish. Ooh, this is down to red. We definitely want to reduce this. Alright, so... Um, there we go. We want to get rid of this as soon as possible, actually. Ooh, upgrades missile weapons. Ooh. See, that means that every soldier I train is going to have bronze... Oh no, that's missile weapons. Missile weapons. Okay, so we must have some. Uh, we must have a blacksmith here then. Yeah. All right. So I think we definitely. No, uh, we gotta wait till six thousand. So we're not gonna get any missile troops here shortly soon. So I mean, that's why we all these guys can be retrained. Because they can all get the bronze. Yeah, it gives them a bit more attack power. Which, you know, would be good, but uh, it's not something I want to focus on until later on in the game. So, let's do that. End of turn report. How much money did we make? We spent 47 on construction. 23 on recruitment. So that's 7,000 there. Um, so we're getting a lot of money in then. Yeah, so without that 7,000 being spent, we're taking a nice tidy profit. Long may it continue. Long may it continue. But we're not going to take that down. That's very pointless. Ah, oh no, someone died. A woman died. That's probably the wife of our previous leader. Okay, construction. Aritium has a shipyard. That's all good. So now... We do get money for crops, as you can see. Trade is doing very well. Tax is doing very well. So we want to go for farming or trade, I think. I'm not sure which one now. Hmm. Oh, go for the forum. That'll bring us a lot more money. That'll do just nicely. And Arrhenion. What can we build here? We could go for the practice range and then the archers, because you know we could always have more archers. Ooh, we could go for the principes. Heavy infantry would be nice. So I mean, t but to be fair, there's not much difference between the starting the principes, as you can see. The starty. 7, 11, 2, 7, 11, 2. The difference is the defense. It's 14, 16, 7, 14, 5. And that's the only difference. So, realistically, like I said, I'm not that first. When later on a very special event happens that makes Rome into what it is, that's when we want to focused on it but not right now we could go for more public order but right now we're doing okay for that what should we go for now we could also go for walls but I don't think we need walls either I just don't know I think we will go for Let's go for the practice range so that we can get archers in a bit. So we're not just focusing, training them in one place. So more archers. Yep, thank you. Alright, let's get more Hastati. You can always have Hastati. Italian. Yes, you're yellow, so we want more soldiers there. Don't think I want to train any more there. We don't need to. But we do need some here over Mas in Masilla. Who needs a general, by the way? We do need to put a general in there. But then again, we just we just don't have any. 
<laughs> we simply don't have any generals. <laughs> so let's go ahead and I mean I'm expecting now an attack from the Spanish which would probably force me to make peace with the Gauls. I mean, I would get favourable terms with the Gauls. Um, also, I've also been thinking about putting an outpost here just to keep watch on the Dacians from the north and then putting one here. Uh, but I think you can only do that with uh, generals, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember. It's been so long, Ooh, we can get some mercenaries in here. I mean, this is the thing with the Gauls. Each of these costs 800, 800 gold. And how do they, where do they get the money from? I don't think I have enough money anyway to construct in this turn. So I'm definitely going to do that in the next couple of turns, I think. But right now, let's just go ahead and hit end turn. And see if the Spanish attack. Nope, still not attacking. So they were bluffing. They just wanted extra money. And I definitely am definitely going to make them pay for it. Only when we've dealt with the Gauls. <laughs> because the Gauls could be a brain in the ass. Okay, so we got 4,600 coming in. I mean, 4,600 in expenses. And um, we overspent 1,100. So... I mean, if we don't spend that 4,600, we've got, what, 20... 3,500? No. 3,400 per turn. Popularity gained with the Senate. Probably because we're doing well. Popularity gained with the masses. Yeah, so when that gets too high, that's when the Civil War happens. You know, the old crossing of the Rubicon. Oh, we've got a new family member, and it's a daughter. All right. Now we want more archers. I'm just going to constantly churn out archers from here. A Renominium. Uh, get more Astarte, please. Batavium. More Astarte. Massilla. Definitely want to get more units churning out over there. And more importantly, here. Uh, we're going to get the gold mine next turn, which will be a bit more extra money. Alright, so I've got 2,000 gold. Alright. So I wonder, I'm not entirely sure if I can. Um, but I definitely, I don't know whether or not to put it here or here. Hmm. Alright, let's go here. Let's build it. Watchtower. Okay. And let's return here. That way we'll spot any incursion to the north there. And. Well, I mean, I, I think I want a watchtower over there. But I'd go within that. Oh, I mean, he's got another. Another massive stack army with another general. It's actually not that big. It's not as big as it looks like. But still, it's annoying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to retrain the cavalry here. Definitely. I'd like to have as much cavalry here as possible. To run them down when they inevitably attack us. And let's go ahead and end the turn, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So let's have a look at the report. There we go. A bit more money in the mining there. Um, because we only really, yeah, we really, really constructed that. We still got two and a half thousand per turn, which is good. Agent found. He escaped. Dacia. Interesting. I hope this is not a sign of things to come, Dacia. You wouldn't want to be
betray my trust now, would you? I should guess that now. What should we build here? What should we build here? Hmm, let's go for farming. Farming means more money. So let's do that. Nabu Marius, you're going to give me some roads. And then let's have a look at the troops. So we want some more archers. Thanking you. And then uh, here, more starting. There we go. Look at that. All that experience. I think I've, it's very rare, but occasionally I have got troops into the gold experience, and damn, they are hard to get. I mean, the Spartans are the best warriors in this game, and I think I did once get a Spartan unit into a gold experience, and they just annihilated everything. They just didn't die. So, you know, if you can do that, then... Well, good luck to you. Well, dogs take two turns. I did not know that. Good job I never constructed them. <laughs> All right, so we're definitely setting ourselves up here to fun. What was that? Uh, okay, so we didn't receive a declaration of war, but we're now at war with the Spanish. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try and seek peace with. And we need another diplomat. I'm going to try and seek peace now then with, this, with the, the Gauls because I don't really want to fight on two fronts because that could be very bad. Of course, by doing that... Oh, I, th I thought that was the Gauls for a second then, but it's just the Brutii. <laughs> well, my guy should win this. There we go. I don't know why he attacked. Still suffered lots of casualties though. It's very strange. Well, same as with the soldiers, we don't need them. There we go. Okay, yeah, so now we are over overspending, I think. So oh, Batavium. Wow, up to 12,000. Damn. Huh. I mean, this is the... No, it's not. There's one more after that. That would allow me Triaria. So you see what you actually need to get Triaria? You need to build this, you know, a large city, and it's just pointless. Um, so, yeah, I mean, they're just... I, don't, I just don't care about them. And then you've got here, you've got, you can train Cavalier Auxilia, and they are basically missile types, but they're just as bad as another, the other one. Cavalry is very limited in Rome. But we, we we don't really want to build any of that just yet. We don't have enough money to build anything. So we're just not going to build anything now. New family member. Ooh, it's a boy. There we go. Practice range. I want to improve that to the archery range. There we go. So that's what we're going to spend our money on there. Alright. Uh, archers and the diplomat. Right, let's use this diplomat to get peace. Let's go get some peace. So it's going to take me a couple of turns. So let's get another Astarte over here. Ah, and they all joined in the war. Uh, am I war with Dacia? No, not yet. <laughs> don't know why they're all at war with Dacia. Maybe one of the other houses declared war on them. Oh, yeah. The Brutii. Wow. The Brutii are expanding rapidly. Wow. <laughs> all right, well... Um, I'm shocked the Spanish declared war on me though. I really am. They think they're powerful enough to challenge me? It's very strange. Especially when I could easily just send them. I mean, you know, I'm going to send all these archers. 
uh, over, them over there. Keep tuning them out, of course. Oh, I don't have. Uh, no, it's all right. One turn will be fine. All right, let's end the turn. See what happens. That was a goal. Wow, why are you blue? I don't want you to auto manage, that's for sure. I'm shocked that this is blue. Um, what are they? What do you mean? We got the temple here. I mean, we might have to destroy a few things. We might have to destroy this and build a barracks. Because there's definitely too much here that's um, not Roman. <laughs> but for now, we'll just leave it. See how it develops. But is that a goal? Yes, right. Let's see if we can get some peace. Let's go for a ceasefire. Um, I want. Oh, no. Well, yeah, map information. I do want regular tribute. Let's go for 10 turns. Let's see what they say. Oh, they turned me down. Maybe I was being too demanding. Either way, we're, we're fairly secure over here in the in the west with our soldiers. A bunch of rebels have spawned with a general. Is that because are we unpopular here? No, we're happy. We're popular all over here. That's a bit surprising. It's very surprising. All right. Well, I mean, we're not losing anything. So these guys aren't really doing much damage unless they're damaging the trade. But we definitely want to take this guy out because he's a general, and that could be dangerous. I should probably build a fort up here actually as well. All right, guys. So um, you know, in the episode there, sorry, not much has happened, but you know, we're building ourselves up. We did get declared upon by Spain, so we have another enemy to conquer down here. Uh, so we'll start doing that as soon as possible. But we do need peace with the Gauls to be able to do that, I think. So um, I hope you liked the video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.